Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today I am going to teach you how to draw frequency density histogram. Before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and watch the video till the end. So, the first question that arrives in our mind is, what is frequency density? The frequency density of a class is defined by frequency density is equal to frequency upon class width. It gives a frequency per unit of the data in, in this class where the unit is the unit of measurement of data. So, the first question that arises in our mind is, what is frequency density? Frequency density is actually the frequency per unit for the data in this class, where the unit is the unit of measurement of the data, and where are frequency density histograms used. Frequency density histograms are normally used when our class intervals are of unequal width. So, in this case, I have written down the heights of different buildings. The heights are the class intervals. So the class intervals are 40 till 70 and from 70 till 80 and from 80 till 100 and from 100 till 110 and from 110 till 120. And this is a frequency table in which I have written down the frequency of the heights. So as we can see that the difference between them is not equal that is first it is from 40 to 70 and then from 70 to 80 80 to 100 and 110 so in this case we have to take out the frequency density in order to plot our histogram properly so what will be our first step first step we will write down the formula which is so the formula will be frequency density is equal to frequency upon class width which can also be summarized using this triangle in which frequency is at the top and frequency density and class width is at the bottom. So the question arises that how do we calculate the class width? So the class width is basically the difference between the values of the class intervals that is 40 and 70. So if we have to calculate the class width then we need to subtract 70 from 40. So it will be 70 subtracted from 40 which will be equals to 30. In this case also 80 subtracted from 70 which will be 80 subtracted from 70 which will be equals to 10. So in the same way we will subtract all the values that is 100 from 80, 100 from, 110 from 100 like 100 from 110, 120, uh, 110 from 120 and then so the value that would come as a difference would be our class width. So when we are going to calculate the frequency density, we will take the value of the frequency which is equal to 33 and put it into in a formula as I told you before. So 33 divided by 30 which is the class width according to the formula we will divide it by 30 and the answer will be equals to 1.65 so similarly we will calculate the values of all the frequency densities and then we are going to plot a graph so as you can see here I calculated all the frequency densities using this formula. So I divided 27 by 10, 10 which is the class width and got 2.7. I divided 30 by 20, 30 which is the class, 30 which is the frequency and 20 which is the class width to get 1.5. Divided 6 by 10, 6 is the frequency, 10 is the class width to get 0 0.6. 4 divided by 10 for the frequency and 10 the class width to get 0.4. Now let's move on and plot the histogram according to these frequency densities. So as you can see here I've plotted a graph 
So here I have drawn the x axis and the y axis. The y axis shows us the frequency density and the x axis shows us the height of the trees. So I have put a break over here. It is basically to show that the values are not starting from 0. We got the table of the class interval from 40. So we have shown a break over here. So now start. let's start plotting the values. So the first value from 40, from 40 till 70 was 33. Or, but we converted it to frequency density and it became 1.65. So 1.65 would be somewhere over here. So 40 till from 40 till 70, 50, 60 and 70. So from 1.65 I would draw a uh, till like this. Now this would be our first bar. What then now the now the second bar. The second bar would be from 70 till 80. That is only this thin area. And the frequency density which we calculated was from 2.7 which is somewhere over here to 80 which is here because 70 was till the end of 40 and we'll draw it like this. Now the second bar was from and the second bar was from 80 till 100 and the frequency density which we calculated was 1.5. So we'll draw another bar which will be from 1.5. 1.5 would be in between 1.4 and 1.6. So 80 till 100 will be 80, 90 and 20 over here. And it will be like this. Now the second last, second last frequency density which we had was 0.6. So 0.6 would be plotted like this. 0.6 is over here and it is from 100 to 110 which will be only this much 0.6 and the other one or the last one is 0.4 which will be from from 0.4 110 till 120 so this is how we are going to draw the frequency density histogram. Well, that's all for today. If you like my video, don't forget to like, comment, share and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Bye, see you in another video.